great chance. Slithers his way out. Turn around shot. He scores! Rocco Grimaldi! It's the movie Rudy. Come to life. There might have been maybe two or three kids I ever played with that were close to me in size in terms of being the smallest. But other than that, I'm, uh, I'm kind of used to playing this role. Standing 5'6 and weighing around 170 pounds, Rocco Grimaldi doesn't exactly spell hockey player. I just love it. I just it's just so much fun and obviously, you know, God put a passion inside of me for it, so I'm definitely gonna, you know, go at it with, with everything that I got and you know do the best I can. That effort from the second round draft pick of the Florida Panthers has made him a fan favorite at UND. And a favorite in the locker room. He's a guy that has consistently and uh, steadily you know, gain the respect of everybody in the locker room by the way he competes and by the way he lives. That life was almost taken from the California native when he was just one year old. I think it was maybe just barely a week after my first birthday. Grimaldi doesn't remember, but has been told several times. We're on the freeway and uh, kind of got cut off and California freeways are a lot bigger than the ones here in, in Forks and um, we went um, end over end over six or seven lanes. What transpired was a miracle. I should have been dead for sure, 100%. Um, but she reaches in there, and, and, and my car seat happened to be sitting perfectly up where she was reaching in. So I was looking up at her with a smile on my face. And she remembers just looking in, and I was smiling. wasn't crying. I was not, like, scared or anything. And, and she reached in and grabbed me, and I had no scratches on me. It's amazing. It's something that I can look at in life and say there's no way I can say there's not a God. And that's why you can find Grimaldi here at church every Sunday. Christ, like the Son of God came to die for me. Like that's, that's better news than me scoring the game-winning goal in the Stanley Cup championship. Rocco has never been shy about his faith and is hoping to one day turn his attention from hockey to the heavens and become a pastor. I love hockey, so I talk about hockey a lot. You know, if I, lo I love Jesus, so I'm going to talk about Jesus a lot. You know, the things in my life that I, I love and the things that I'm excited about are the things that I'm going to talk about. When I heard that Rocco was looking to uh, head into the ministry after hockey's all said and done, that just really excited me because um, I can see him really um, doing an incredible job at that. He's very personable and so just loves to talk to people and um, obviously his passion that you see on the ice is so necessary as a pastor too. You can be like Rocco, you know, he's going to be that guy for the game winner. Like Meyer, Grimaldi's grace is echoed by his teammates. Well, when he speaks, a lot of people listen to him, and uh, he uh, he practices what he preaches, and uh, I think that's that's good for a leader, and that definitely translates to being a pastor. The highly touted freshman walks and fires. Number 19 might not be the biggest or the baddest on the ice, but uh, the Lord told Samuel, "Don't look at the outward appearance of the man." Look at the heart for me being my size. I think that's the perfect verse. You know, people are going to look at me and say, ah, he's too small to play, or ah, he's, he can't have a long career. He's too small. He's not strong enough. But I, I just look at it and say, ah, I might not be, but I know someone who is strong enough.